And we do have a caller on the line. Jody, welcome to Law Call. She's from Mobile. Uh, what is your question tonight for Bill? Hey, Jody. Hey. Um, how does it differ or does it differ if the person that you're in an altercation with has the same insurance company as yours? That's a, that's a very good question, and, um, and it, it happens m uh, more than you know, and especially with um, you know, a, a bigger insurance companies that insure a lot uh, of people. You know, I've got a case right now where I've got State Farm with my client and State Farm on the other side. I've got a case with GEICO and GEICO, Allstate and Allstate, uh, USAA and USAA. It happens all the time. And um, now what, they, what they're supposed to do is they assign the other person an adjuster and they assign you an adjuster. And they are not supposed to interact with each other when it comes to your claim versus their claim. So um, they, they are supposed to keep it separate. I've not, in all honesty, I've not really run into a bad situation um, where, you know, in other words, like they're whispering to each other um, down the hall from each other and saying we're going to do this or do that. So typically it's usually on, um, on the up and up, but, um, but absolutely it does happen. But don't get discouraged. Uh, just speak to a lawyer, though, and find out what he or she says that you should do in a situation like that. But in, in a lot of it, again, just depends on the amount of your injuries. If, you, if it's just property damage, that's one thing. But if, if, if there's injuries involved, then you need to get to a lawyer immediately. Um, and again, it, it, it may, it may um, you know, come to be where you don't need a lawyer. You know, you may uh, be banged up for three or four days and then you're 100% fine. You know, years ago, I, for, I, I used to, it, when people would come see me, I, I've been doing this since the mid-90s, and years ago, you know, you would have people come into your office and they're in a wheelchair and they can't hardly move and you're thinking, all right, this is going to be a big case. And then uh, come to find out just a few days later, you know, lo and behold, they're fine and it's not a big case. I've had other cases where people have come into my office, had one just a couple of months ago, and they're just bebopping around and everything's fine. Oh, I'm, you know, I just think I've strained my neck a little bit. I'm, I'm going to be fine. I don't think I'm really injured. Well, come to find out, there's a, a, this person had to have a triple fusion in their neck because of three herniated discs uh, in the neck that uh, started rearing its ugly head about a week after. And so that's, and that's another reason don't talk to insurance companies on the other side because you don't want to say, hey, I'm fine. You know, you know I'm, I'm good to go because they're going to use that against you later down the road. So seek advice first before you open your mouth. Great advice. Yep.